Hello everyone, welcome again in this video. I'm going to show you demonstration of another project in Spring Boot and ReactJS. So we are using uh, like it's a, it's, it's a medical shop. So online medical shop or you can say the shop management. So before start the demonstration, let's talk some thing about the technology or what kind of technology we are using over here. So for the back end, uh, for the back end, it's using Spring Boot. Uh, Spring Boot, JPA, and the stored information. Uh, it's using MySQL as a database. It's using REST API, the database communication and, 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 and into the JSON format. It's using authentication, uh, JWT authentication, uh, to verify the tokens. And uh, yeah, these are the things we are using into the back end for the front end side. It's using. Uh, okay, so for the front end, <clears throat> it's using React.js, uh, React.js, and uh, you can say it's simple as CML. CML is there, CSS, Bootstrap, CSS, Bootstrap library is there. So we are using, so we have a different separate uh, front end and the back end. So Folder architecture, if we talk about the folder arch architecture, uh, for the backend uh, to create the APIs, I'm using Spring uh, uh, Boot and the IDE is Eclipse. So this is the configuration. We have a configuration, controllers, DDOs, and uh, we have exceptions, handling models, repositories, services, uh, entities, and utility. And to access the APIs, to test the APIs, we are using uh, Postman over here. So these are the APIs we have uh, to create the authentication token welcome edit. So for each and every module, we have different APIs to delete the records, edit the records, get the records. Okay. From the front end side, we are using Visual Studio Code and uh, we have a component CSS, pages, app configuration, React Router Dome. Uh, when I run the server, when I run both the servers and the application is launched here and uh, let's see what what, uh, what are the different operations are there in order to uh, execute the application. So you, you know the flow, how the things are working over there. So mainly uh, we are storing the information, the complete information is stored into the database table as a MySQL database. So we have a two types of user admin and the and user. So I just enter the username password for the admin here and I just log in as an admin. So let's see what admin can do. So admin can add uh, here from here a new user. Let's say I'm going to add in a dummy user. So this user will be displayed over here and admin can edit this user. Let's suppose like this. I, I, I just save it. The user is updated. If admin wants, admin can delete by the, delete that user as well. Okay, but we just need to click on this delete button. The user will be deleted. After that, the admin can add a new medicine stock. So let's say I'm going to add a new med medicine company name, new company med and quantity and number of units. Let's say I have 500 units uh, and price per, per unit. Let's say 100 or uh, rupees per unit. I add the medicine here. Uh, again, the admin have access to edit, delete this medicine and the quantity of the, uh, all the available things. Let's say I'm going to add this as a 550. I'm going to update the quantity here. And so it's updated now. Okay, the stock, this is the stock. Uh, after that, we have <clears throat> option here to order, but we'll see this order from the user side. So user can make the orders after login and uh, we have a user list where admin can manage the users medicine list where admin can manage the medicine edit delete and order so uh, apart from that admin can uh, track the order history that is done by the customers and the payment history that is done by the customer i'm just going to log out as in customer as an admin here now i'm going to like register as a new user so let's say this is my new username and this is a password when i click on the save the data is saved into my database. The next record is coming as a fifth number. This is the username and the password is stored into the password column. So I just enter this username now. I enter the password. When I hit the sign in button, I save this. And here we have a home page. We have medicine list. So these are the medicine lists available. Now recently we have added this medicine over there. This quantity have a 550. Let's order this. I just go to the order and this is not changeable. So you, we can't change it. This field uh, for read only because it's coming as a medicine name. Quantity, let's suppose I want to get 
take uh, 10 quantity the price is automatically calculated here and coming here and we also cannot update it the user cannot update it let's say a user can only enter here the quantity let's say user change the quantity as a 12 so price is automatically calculated and updating into the input field in a read only format okay let's place the order so i place the order for the 12 quantity and it's showing the payment status is pending and now uh, to pay like i can check the order history payment history is nothing is there because this is a new user when i click on the pay now uh, i can enter my card number card details and uh, transaction expiry date for the card <coughs> cvv number it's just dummy payment gateway click to the pay when i click to the pay the payment is done for this order number and it's now it will display into the order history also into the order history the payment is updated as a paid and the button pay now is gone now and the status is a paid and this button is disabled the user cannot click on it now if i check the medicine list here the quantity is automatically reduced because the two uh, are already booked okay now if, if we check from the admin section the admin also have the updated record now so admin can check the order history the new record here the payment history for the new record and the logout system so it's using uh jwt tokens all the managing tokens and header things following all the MB following all the standards of industry development it's following mbc architecture and uh, we have controllers dtos and uh, you can see the console log as a token here <clears throat> so all the things are managing over here for the front end side we are using react js and uh, we have postman for the API agency. So in case you need the source code, you can connect us over the WhatsApp or Skype and don't worry about the configuration setup. We have remote team that's going to connect with you via an ES code Zoom and they, will, they are going to help you to uh, configure the project at your machine. Also, I want to make a like, point here. The project is paid. So if you uh, just take the link in the description box for the actual price and services that we are providing or also you can directly connect us over the call whatsapp or email or skype so we can we can explain you the things so yeah uh, it's a paid project thank you for watching